it is so far from what we're thinking about right now. I know. It's, it's, you know, in the 70s and tomorrow going to be even warmer. Yeah, maybe even 80s. Are we talking or perhaps 80s? We're going to see some temperatures trying to make a run towards that yeah. mark. I think we're going to fall shy, but for Pittsburgh, we're going to get close to a record, which is 80 for uh, for tomorrow's date. So unseasonably warm temperature for sure. And this is going to be a trend that continues through the weekend, but our warmer than average temperatures are also going to be a big part of next week as well. But look at this pretty picture. This is a shot from the North Shore looking towards downtown. You have that high thin layer of clouds, the setting sun putting a little color back behind the city. So a very nice shot there as uh, we look from Acrisure Stadium back towards uh, the city here. And we have cloudy skies reported, and that's because of these thin clouds that you see uh, above the city right now. But through the night, those clouds will thicken up. We're already down into the upper 60s. The winds have been pretty light, but they're going to be picking Picking up as we have a frontal system approaching us, our wind gusts are going to pick up from the south. That's going to pump in some big time warm air, especially for tomorrow. But look, we still have some 70s hanging on out towards Irwin 71. Greensburg's at 70 as well as Washington, Blainsburg and Uniontown, Morgantown, all at 73 degrees. But everybody else upper 60s. But any way you look at it, it's warm and our temperatures will continue that slow drop through the night. So it's going to be warm through the night for this time of year. We wake up to temperatures in the mid 50s. 50s, but mid 50s are normally what we get mid afternoon for a high temperature, not the early morning low. So highs tomorrow making a run towards 80 in Beaver, 79 in Morgantown and Waynesburg, Connellsville as well, 78 in Latrobe, Pittsburgh, 76. Now our record for tomorrow is 80 degrees. I don't think we're in record territory, but it is going to feel pretty much like record temperatures. 76 degrees for the high temp there, 71 still on Sunday, and that's even with some showers in play. Temperatures will step down a little bit, and while these numbers look cooler, 56 is normal, so every one of the temperatures you see in our forecast for the next week will be above average. Now, tomorrow is going to be dry, but it will get gusty. Sustained winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, wind gusts near 30. Sunday comes with rain attached, so the leaves will be wet and potentially still damp on Monday. Late in the day, they might be dry enough, and those winds will start to ease up a little bit there. So if you're taking care of the leaves this weekend, tomorrow's the best day to do it, but it's also going to be a gusty day to to do it. Now the rain and the thunderstorms back to the west will just be rain when it gets here, but that's going to be impacting us for the second part of the weekend. So we get through tomorrow dry and then it's Sunday where rain showers become uh, sort of a nuisance to get the brand new week going. So clouds are the biggest issue tomorrow with the wind dry through the day. After midnight, we see those showers kick in and most of those will be around early in the day. And I think later we'll start to break up those clouds and dry things out and we'll continue that drying on Monday. Tonight, 56 partly to mostly cloudy skies, winds at times gusting overnight to 25 miles per hour. And then tomorrow those wind gusts get up just a little bit more to about 30. The temperatures get up a little bit more too to 76 for that high temperature, more clouds and sunshine, but you get the very warm temps to go along with it. Now over the next seven days, our temperatures will start to trail off. We'll get into the mid 60s by Monday. That comes with bright sunshine attached, mind you. Tuesday, 60 degrees there, partly cloudy skies back into sunshine Wednesday, still in those lower 60s, and then we're going to get a little boost in those temperatures, but you'll notice as you get those little boosts, there's usually a drop following it and some showers, and that's what we're going to see Thursday into Friday.